Well, there's no denying Michigan is an automotive state, but officials also want it to be a hub for cybersecurity, and they say it all starts with students. Today, the White House Director of Cybersecurity stopped at Lansing Community College, hoping to inspire and recruit candidates into the world of cyberspace at an early age. Daryl Horn is here for you now. Daryl, tell us more about this visit. Well, Lauren, the tech-savvy students of LCC were front and center during the National Cyber Director's visit. Right now, there are hundreds of thousands of jobs in the cybersecurity industry, which is why we spoke with potential cyber warriors like the ones he sat across from today. They, they seem more interested in me than I thought they would. Students got to voice their perspective and be inspired. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to sit across from one of the most powerful people in their field that they love, the National Director of Cybersecurity. I felt honored, honestly. Uh, it's, they seem very sincere. One of them was LCC student Sherdell Knox, who really impressed Cyber National Security Director Chris Inglis. Knox says he's glad he can be an example for people just like him. Well, there's not enough African American people in tech anyway. Um, I've seen a lot of people actually, you know, see me move into the IT field and begin their own journey. More than 600,000 jobs in the cybersecurity field need to be filled, according to Representative Alyssa Slocken. Especially with the uptick in hacks, she learned from students how jobs for coders, IT analysis, all the way down to engineers can be filled. The first level jobs are saying you need three years experience, five years experience. Well, how do they get that experience if they can't get in the job? That was something the national director was happy to hear and take back to Washington. So Michigan can be, it strikes me, is on the forefront of cyber education so that we can kind of create the oncoming generation that has the skills necessary. Students can all agree that those wanting to learn the trade to never underestimate what opportunities a community college can provide. I just want to be happy doing what I'm doing. 